Hey friends, it's your girl Lucretia or Cree. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's video. So this week, as you can see from the title, we are talking about having godly friends. Godly friends, they're so important. <laughs> If you are beginning your journey in, you know, getting to know God a little bit better. So we're going to go over what it is, what what it means to have a godly friend. Or who, what is a godly friend? Or who is a godly friend? Let's, let's, let's get into it right now. So first, I want to address the godly friend and the church friend. Okay. Now the church friend is... The person that you see at church, y'all high five, hey, praise, praise God, you know, how are you doing? I'm blessed and highly favored, right? The friend that y'all sit next to, you know, y'all just be crying in the spirit and, you know, y'all worshiping together and y'all say hi and and talk a little bit in the, you know, the lobby after church, da, 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 da. And then y'all part ways. Y'all don't talk to each other during the week. You only interact at church. That's a church friend, right? But when you have a godly friend, a true godly friend, it's something different. Now, you can have a godly friend that y'all go to church together, but having that godly friend doesn't necessarily mean that you guys go to the same church, right? Godly friends are people who, you know, and we're gonna go into, you know, you know, godly friends, you know, in depth, but that godly friend is someone that you talk to on a regular basis, Monday through Sunday. Okay, if you got an issue, you can call them, they can pray over you. Okay, the friend that you know, you can be vulnerable with, right? That friend who, you know, y'all can, y'all can, y'all, y'all, you guys see each other in a different way. You, you just, you feel connected with them and it doesn't necessarily mean it's only on Sundays because we all know that the enemy don't wait till Sunday to attack you. He could come for you on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. He's counting on you leaving church and forgetting the whole sermon that you just heard. And I'm not pointing no fingers because maybe I was that person. But recently, as I've been going through my, you know, my journey of, you know, developing a relationship with God, I, I found that godly friend. Like, God is so amazing because that godly friend, like, we just, we just connect. So we're going to get into it right now. Y'all, my audio might be a little different. I just put my mic, I remembered I did not put on my attachable mic. So the audio might be a little different, but just bear with me, okay? Okay, so godly friends. What does it mean to have a godly friend? What does it mean to be a godly friend, right? Godly friends are individuals who have a relationship with God themselves. They read their word, okay? They have faith in God. They they have a life that is um, evident that they have a relationship with God, right? They don't do the things that are, are worldly. They don't, you know, drink, drink obsessively. They don't smoke. They don't partake in anything of the world, right? Just like how you don't. You have been set apart. They have been set apart. So if you have a person who... Every once in a while, y'all talk to, you talk to, and you talk to about God here and there, but everything else is just gossip and, you know, just talk that is not godly, pretty much. That's just a friend. That's just a regular, really friend who you really should evaluate if this friendship is beneficial to you. But what does it mean to be a godly friend or have a godly friend? Godly friends are friends who hold you accountable, but not just like the worldly accountable as far as, oh, you know, if you're working out, if you're trying to eat healthy, these individuals are going to be like, did you read your word today? How's your prayer life going? Okay. Did you go to church? 
what would your pastor <laughs> preach about? They're going to be sharing scripture with you. They're going to be sharing like spiritual and um, podcasts with you every day. They're going to be sharing content with you that's going to uplift you. They're not going to be sharing things with you. They're not going to be talking with you about worldly things that don't matter and that might bring you down and might make you depressed. They're not doing that. They're, they're making sure that you are staying on the path that you need to be on to grow your relationship with God, period. They, they're not doing that. They ain't your godly friend. Two of what it means to be a godly friend and what it means to have a godly friend is someone who's going to pray with you and over you. Now, this is extremely important because if you don't have a friend that's going to pray over you, with you, when you're going through a storm, when you're being, when you're, you know, you feel like you're being attacked, if you feel like you're going through this rough patch that you just can't dig yourself out of, this person is going to be praying on your behalf. They're going to be on their knees. They're going to be seeking God. They're going to be asking God, like, what can I do for my friend? What, Lord, like, just show up for them. They're going to say, girl, let's pray together. Let's read this word together. Let's meet every week. Let's, let's, you know, work on building your spiritual relationship with God because what we're not going to be doing out here, okay, is saying that we're believers of God and not walking this walk and, and, and believing in ourselves. Like, we have to believe that God is with us. So that godly friend is going to like, let's pray, period. Or they're going to tell you, you need to pray. You need to seek God. You need to fast. And fasting is a whole different thing because your godly friend is gonna fast with you. I actually did not put that on the list, but there you go. You guys are gonna fast together. Godly friends fast together, baby. And when I say when y'all get on that level, when y'all both hungry at three o'clock p three o'clock in the afternoon, none of y'all ate, ate like you just your flesh is just screaming, and you could call that person and be like, girl, I need, I need, I need help right now. You don't have that friend. Come on, I need you to find one. I need you to find a friend who can fast with you. Okay. Okay, number three. This is this is like at the top of the list. This is like very, very important. They are good and godly counsel. What does that mean? It means when you call them with an issue, besides them praying with you, they're going to give you biblical truth about the situation that you're going through. They're going to say, well, this is what the word says about this situation. Okay. They're going to say, okay, I want you to read, you know, Galatians 1, 4 or whatever it is. They are going to direct you to God. They're going to give you biblical advice if you so want advice from them. They're going to take you back to the scripture. They're going to, you can call them and be like, listen, I just broke up with such and such because da, 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 and they're calling me and, uh, and I'm thinking about getting back together with them. They're going to be like, listen, the Bible says, you know, A, B, and C. This person wants to get intimate and you're not, you have devoted your life to God. That is not of God. You know, sex outside of marriage is, you know, is against God and we not doing that. If you're serious about your walk, let that person go. They're going to give you the advice that you need to stay on your walk. Because you don't want someone who's going to encourage you to do wrong, right? You're not going to, you don't want to be surrounded by people who encourage you to fall on your walk, to question your walk. Someone who's filling your head with like doubt, like is this, is that really what God said? No, you don't want that. You want someone who's going to give you good and godly counsel. Because it's extremely important to have that, when, especially when you are just coming to God and, and you're a babe in Christ because you're so easily tempted to fall back to what you're comfortable with. So get you a friend, a godly friend, who can give you some godly and biblical counsel. Number four, which goes along with everything else, is just they help you spiritually. They are that element. They are that, they're, they just, they're the type of person who 
they're going to pray for you. They're going to give you godly counsel. They're going to make sure they're going to check on you. Right? They're going to text you. If y'all fasted, text you, girl, how you doing today? How's your fast going? Mine's is going a little rough. You know, pray for me. But this is the scripture that they, you know, the, you know, this is the scripture I read that helped me. They're spiritually, you guys are going to seek. When they are going through something, you're going to be there to help them in their situation and vice versa. Sometimes, sometimes you both are going to be going through this, you know, spiritual whirlwind. You're going to be going through a storm. You're going to feel like, like, God, where are you? You know, me and my friend, we've going, we're going through this storm together. And if it wasn't for her telling me like, God is like, there's something that God wants to give us and bless us with on the other side of this struggle. So we both got to stay strong. I give her encouraging words. She gives me encouraging words. And that's how we spiritually uplift one another. It's so important to really have that friend who can like grab you by the hand and, and just say, we going to do this together. We're going to finish this together because we can't miss our mark. We can't miss it. We don't know the time or the hour that the father is going to come back. So my sister or my brother, we're not, we're not, we're not allowing the enemy to keep us from the glory of God. Absolutely not. Having that friend, being that friend is so important. Spiritually praying for them and fighting this this spiritual realm that you know the enemy is is using certain things and people to remind us of the life that we used to live we're not doing that your godly friends gonna snatch you back be like uh, -uh we're not doing that that's not what we're doing so they help you spiritually in every single way get you a godly friend that can help you spiritually sis it's important don't miss that okay let's get to the last one they will help you become more God-centered and focus on your walk. Um, and like I mentioned earlier, you know, you may have been through a breakup or the old life that you gave up since you gave your life to God. Um, looks very enticing to go back. When you give your life to God, the gates <laughs> of issues, problems, all these things, that it's, it, they're just going to bombard you. And you're going to just be like, I didn't know. I thought mm, this is going to be easy since I gave my life to God. That is that is completely untrue. If anything, it's going to be a little bit harder because now the enemy is going to be like, okay, I want you back where you used to be. Your friend is going to help you stay the course. They're going to be doing all the things that we talked about. They're going to be praying over you. They're going to... They're going to give you godly counsel. They're going to be they're going to be giving you wisdom, scripture, truth, biblical truth. They're going to be giving you a word. They're going to be talking to you like very candidly like listen, I I've, I've seen you drift away a little bit, but as my sister, I can't allow you to drift too far. And God's not going to allow them um to drift far either. Sometimes you know, fear creeps in and we want to go to the thing that's comfortable. And if you were doing this walk alone, it's very easy to fall back into your old life. I have been a victim of that. You start out, you know, in your, you know, your walk, but because you're not, you know, going on this journey alongside someone else, so you guys can hold each other accountable, you fall back into the old you. No. No. <laughs> having a godly friend, having someone who helps you remain accountable to your promise to yourself and your promise to God will help you stay God-centered. You're going to be focused. You're going to be in the zone. Like, God had brought me from that. And, and I am who I am because I stayed the course. I built my relationship with God. They're going to keep you focused on on God and focus on living a pure and holy life. Just know 
you are not alone and you should not be alone everyone's walk like walk you know christian walk is different but it doesn't mean you can't walk alongside someone yes our paths are completely different paths but just like how you walk on the street in a park alongside someone your pace might be a little bit different but your pace matches f to the point where you guys are shoulder to shoulder you're walking in this and god is in the middle of both of you walking so just know godly friends are important i don't care if you new to this christian rock i don't care if you a vet you 60 70 80 having a godly friend in your corner can make a world of difference you would go further than you would ever have imagined if you just get that friend next to you and you guys just feed the word to each other. Don't be afraid to put yourself out there either. I've heard in the sermon, know who to let in, you know, in your personal space. Be very observant of individuals. I know with my friend, the way we met was in a completely different way, but God, like we were on the walk together, but separate, but then we just came together and just God just worked something out between us. And to this day, I just, I say, me and my friend Shanae, we are like David and Jonathan. Our souls are knitted together. Okay. That is my friend for life. That is my godly friend. And I would not be where I am without her. You can have the same relationship out there. Just be very wise, but also be open to making friends. I know that some people may have hurt you, but not everyone out there is there to hurt you. Just operate in wisdom, discernment, and just seek God. I mean, like, God, you know, send me a godly friend. Send me godly women in my life that will help me in this walk so I can stay accountable. God will answer your prayer. But it may not show up in the way that you want. So be very open-minded. Okay, y'all. Thanks so much for tuning in to this week's episode. Next week, we're going to be talking about something that... It's very near and dear to me. Something that I've struggled with for many, many years. So stay tuned. I love you guys. And I'll catch you in the next video. Bye.